I'm kidding, I don't dance, I'm chubby. Uh, you guys, I grew up in uh, Texas. Uh, I grew up in a small town. You in Texas? Oh, God, we're obnoxious. Um, <laughs> I grew up in Texas in a border town next to Mexico, uh, kind of a rough neighborhood. Our high school mascot was the cartel, so... <laughs> Let's just say we never lost a game. <laughs> I've been traveling a lot. I was recently in Northern California. I stayed at this hotel. All the, uh, the maids were Mexican, and a friend of mine sent me flowers to congratulate me on something, and I didn't know what to do with the flowers when I checked out. Like, do you throw them away? Do you travel with them? What? So I asked my friend, and he was like, oh, just give the roses to the maid. I was like, oh, okay. Well, what if there's more than one maid? Like, oh, well, just give each maid a rose. I was like, what the fuck is this? The Mexican bachelor? Like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm bringing them in, lining them up. Maria. I love the way you made the bed. It was comfortable. I slept in it for eight hours. You get a rose. Other Maria. <laughs> I'm American, you know, and sometimes when I think of the things we have available to that country, I'm not surprised other countries hate us. I mean, think about it. We have it pretty good. We invented a store called Build-A-Bear. We invented a store where we pay them money to let us build a toy and pretend we work in a sweatshop. That's fucked up. <laughs> Can you imagine showing that store to somebody that actually works in a sweatshop? They'd be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I wish I could explain, but I've got to go to Subway and have three people make me one sandwich. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you guys, I've had a really rough week. I just realized I'm at that age where the only way I can get into a nightclub is by telling the door guy that I'm looking for my underage daughter. <laughs> then I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to pretend to look for that bitch the entire night. Like, where the hell is Stephanie? I don't even, I don't know, man. Where is she? It's a, oh my God, that bitch is crazy. Like, oh my God, she's so hard to find. I am a tomboy. There's certain things I like to do that are kind of girly, though. Like, I like getting my nails done. Here's the thing, though. I hate small talk. And the women at the nail salon, that's all they do. They ask you these questions. They don't care about the answer. They're trying to kill time. I get it. I get it, right? I was at a nail salon. This woman's doing my nails. It's like, oh, are you from India? Okay. I've got two choices. I can lie and say that I'm from India and hope she shuts up. Or I could be like, no, I'm Mexican, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'm Indian. <laughs> Thinking that's it, right? Oh, what part of India? Ah. Like, oh. uh. Uh, uh, Guatemala? Uh, 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 uh. But what's the weather like in India? I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. I'm lying. So I'm thinking, screw it, I'm going to lie, I'm going to leave, I'm never going to see her again, right? So I'm like, it's snowing in India. No fucking clue. So I leave, thinking I'm never going to see her again, guess what? She does amazing nails. So I have to go back to her. So for the next six months, every time I go, I have to study. One to two hours on India because the questions are getting harder and harder and harder. <laughs> Finally, after six months, she's like, oh, what's the major export of India? <laughs> I don't know. 
Look, I can't do this anymore, okay? I'm not Indian, I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican! <laughs> She's like, oh honey, I know you're Mexican. You pay with debit card. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Thank you guys. My name is Cristela. Thank